Welcome to Intuitive OpNote, the electronic post-operative report. We'll go through how to use our defaulted reports. Default reports allow surgeons to bring up their most common approaches to surgeries, while easily making changes for the unique aspects of each procedure. I'm going to select my default laparoscopic cholecystectomy, and then I'll go on to the patient screen. So I'll select the patient. After verifying that this is the correct patient, I'll go on to enter the date and staff for this particular procedure. Patient MRN can also be obtained via barcode or any perioperative system if so desired. If the date of the surgery is any other day than the current one, it can be changed. Users can choose from a pre-populated list of possible assistants and anesthesiologists. If the other physicians involved are not on the list, users can type in their names. I then continue to select the procedure I performed. Since this is a defaulted report, the procedure has already been selected. You can also see that the procedure automatically captures the correct CPT code. Next screen is the diagnosis chooser. This is my most common diagnoses for this procedure. If I want to add or change it, it's as easy as clicking a button. Satisfied with my procedure and diagnosis, I hit continue and proceed to edit my report. The report has information that I've previously entered and are my most common responses for each section. Incorporating Joint Commission standards, we have worked with many surgeons to create a fairly universal structure for the post-operative report. If there is something that didn't occur or doesn't apply to this particular case, then it can be easily removed and the correct information can be quickly added instead. If you wish to reorder an item in the list, that is also easily handled by selecting and dragging any item with a green arrow next to it. These fields help capture all the necessary information for quality indicator and pay for performance programs, as well as reinforcing best practices for procedures and reporting. And there is a free text option if there's something to add that doesn't fit under any other previous sections. Go on to the sign out screen where I will do a quick review to ensure that I've captured everything correctly. And then I can sign out and exit. The report is now signed out, stamped with the date and time, and sent to any linked systems, such as an EMR or billing. In addition, users can view the report in OpNote, download a PDF, or print a copy. For additional information, or to set up a personal demo, contact us today.